Hello everyone, and welcome to other updates on April 2nd, 2024. So, uh, this morning we are seeing rain on the east coast, some patchy rain in Ulster. This is gradually going to die off to leave a cloudy day for most places, with a few bright spells, especially in the north. There are, there are a few showers may form in Midlands, especially from the Dublin to Galway line, but most areas stay dry but cloudy up until the evening when rain pushes into the south. Now, into Tuesday night, we'll see the rain pushing northwards, um, becoming heavy at times, especially in the west there. Also in the west, there'll be some more rainfall as well. Um, it'll be more persistent there than in the east. Now into um, Wednesday, we see that whole system pushing northwards into the morning. So a wet start for the north of the country, like North Leinster, Cox and Ulster, but it does clear away and Wednesday is a day of um, actually some quite some quite nice weather in the south especially but actually the rain does hold on in Ulster so quite a drab day there now which is Thursday we see um, a more southwesterly flow this, this is going to bring some showers in before we see a longer spell of rain into the evening and into Friday we see further showers coming in uh, heavy at times especially there in the north um into saturday we see a, actually quite a nice day possibly a few showers on saturday but in general that's not too bad possibly windy as well though windy as well um yeah into sunday it's actually looking very showery so here is the nmx observer forecasters so we're currently um at around plus one point Sorry, minus 1.7 or 8 even. Um, getting down to about minus 2 on the index, I'd say around Wednesday, Thursday time before gradually rising to become like neutral by April 15th. So here is the GFS 6 run. So again, as you will, as we will know, big block over Greenland, but, the, but that's just keeping the lows over us. So quite damp. And on Thursday and Friday, the lows come northwards. We get a more southerly flow. It gets milder, yes, but it gets even, but it also gets even wetter and windier. Uh, yes, looking very um, unsettled into the weekends. Um, into the start of next week, we we keep it unsettled and very westerly, with further lows coming in from the west. Not much sign of a change at all. Just a more low coming in. Um, as flat as a pancake that is, and a bit cooler as well into mid-April with a more northwesterly uh, source of air. Um, and towards the end of the run, actually by, by then we do try and get some high, some heights rising. So here is the ECM, pretty much the same again. Uh, all, all of this low pressure around now, quite flappy at first, but it will soon get deeper into the end of the week. And through the weekends, we will see quite a stormy day possibly on Saturday and Sunday. That's the one to watch a deep low then. Um, beyond that, oh, you see it's different. So, so, so at the start of next week, it tries to push the low end from the south, but in the end of a high forms to a north, and that ends up um, drying us out, yes, especially in the north, but it turns winter to the east. i say that's quite a mild wind though, not that cold, very mild as April now. And into the end of the week, it goes dryish, I say, away from the northwest, and quite warm as well. So here is the GEM. So the GEM again has these lows coming in over uh, the uh, start of the week here, quite flabby, quite weak. But then they really get going into the weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That lows to the northwest, constant showers and windy weather. Now into um, um, next week. Again, I think GEM is going drier. It's trying to build, it's trying to connect a high from the east to our west, from Europe to the Atlantic, and it's breaking through this low. Uh, will it succeed though? Um, yes, it does, it does. So it actually centers, up, it centers in the end over us, bringing us quite a nice spell, but by April 12th, could we be in for a drier trends? I'm not gonna put anything more than that. Um, but the ECM and GEM are both going in, the, in that direction, so possibly so. And the GFS though is just keeping it westerly. But however, 
Very mind GFS with these longer range charts. Um, especially if blocking has been right, the GFS is often first to just decide that it's not going to happen. But um, with this high from the so south, though, it's different. Um, so just let's just wait and see. Um, again, big low of the weekend, strong winds, heavy rain. Um, again, UK Met Run is by Monday get drying things out, but Tuesday starts to build some high pressure in. And here is the icon. So th there's a trend. Um, uh, icon is um, again very very unsettled over the weekend. That dartboard load just went northwest there. Let's see what our pressure is from Monday onwards. Okay, our sorry icon even. I'm tired today. Icon uh, keeps it westerly, but not for long. By Tuesday, what? It's kind of westerly, but high pressure is closest to us. By Tuesday, April 9th. Um, here is the arpege for real this time. The arpege is again Tuesday, flabby low. Wednesday, flabby low. Thursday, deeper low. There's a lot of rain then. Uh, Friday. What's Friday do? And Saturday. Okay, so that low is just, and that deep low is coming up from the south, so, you know, the weekend will be a washout, so, um, everyone, thanks for watching, see you tomorrow, bye for now.